guys, Alina Gibbs here and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to do my makeup to get ready for my date online. I'm going to start off by doing my foundation. So I am using the Too Faced. Kessa, oh my god. What is it? Sorry, that was my cat. Dab, 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 dab. Da, 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 da. A bit underneath so that it doesn't look very different from each other. Okay. Cans. Can. 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 Next, I'm gonna be adding a bit of the contour. I would make like this three, which is really not <laughs> ugly three. So one thing I learned about my face, uh, thanks to one of the makeup artists who did for my face for a shoot once, she told me that I have a very square face, meaning that there's a lot more jaw to show, which if you want to make it look slimmer, I have to actually color it in like that. And I would put a bit there, my nose. And we actually met before, many years back before we got together. Like, we met at a bus stop in Sydney when I was visiting my friend in Sydney. But at the time, he was already taken and I, I got out of a long relationship. I kind of just didn't want to mingle with people if you get what I mean. And it was also bad timing because he was his girlfriend was there. Well, to be honest, I don't remember meeting him at all, but he remembered it. The reason why I didn't remember was because he he was just this tall figure with half his face covered with hair, and so I was just like, who the hell? So I it was a memorable like first meeting because I'm just like I can't bear, I can barely see his face. Like, don't worry about this. Like he knows this. Like we always laugh about it, but it's funny how. Fate, you know, kind of brought us back together and giving this actually a fair shot. Then I'm gonna add the powder to make sure that the foundation doesn't look too cakey. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> you guys ever have this problem where the powder just gets everywhere and you end up swallowing some? Yeah, so we met up again four years later. Is it four years? Eh? Yeah, so four years. And so, even then when we met up again, the first time we met, when he came back to KL, it was just so awkward, like he and I didn't talk to each other at all, because he thought I was in a relationship, and I thought that he was just like, wasn't interested, and also at the time I wasn't really looking to get into a relationship, because I also just got out of a long-term relationship. It's like, what's the timing? Only after like a few months of him messaging me on Facebook and me not replying on time. When I say I don't reply on time, like I would reply to him. Oh, sorry, wrong one. I would reply to him only like after a week or a month. <laughs> and it was really bad because I was just not interested in dating or anything. Um, anyways, we then went on our first date, and yeah, since then it's been magical. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows while this thing bakes. So I'm using this. It is dark brown. Eh, black brown. What? What kind of color? Honestly, I am very, very happy with him, with who I am when I'm with him, or even when who I am when we're not physically together. Like generally, I'm a lot healthier as a person. And I'm not saying that we have the most perfect relationship. We do fight. Like every couple's fight is healthy. And like when we fight, it's very productive in a sense that we we take our lessons with it and we make sure that you know we, we don't get too too consumed by our emotions or insecurities. And we're not afraid to call out on each other, which I really appreciate the honesty and how forward and upfront we are. We can be with each other without being all like, oh, when well, you're hurting my feelings. Yeah, so if you're wondering, I usually just draw underneath and then I go to the corner and draw that. So I know what to color in when I use the powder later. 
So that's drawn out. Now I just have to use a different tool to complete the eyebrows. Hold on, let me just get the brush. So I'm using this. I don't honestly know what brand it is. It was given by a friend uh, at work. She wanted like my lip cream and I wanted her eyebrow thing because like, every time she like comes into office like her eyebrows were always on fleek. I'm like, what do you use? Oh. Wow! <laughs> now it's done! Okay, so now that the powder has been on my face for quite a long time now, so I'm gonna just remove it. I'm using this brush by The Earthy Life. It's so cute. Again, another bamboo. All the bamboo ones I have are from them brush it all so now I'm gonna do my eyes I shall first put on my eyeshadow I'm just gonna dab for all the makeup influences and makeup artists please don't hit me on this am I the only one who does this to their eyes hold on uh. Hands. I hope you guys realize after watching a few of my videos, I'm not a beauty guru, nor do I see myself an expert in makeup or beauty. But no doubt, I still enjoy putting makeup on and dressing up and doing like face masks. I just don't look very pro when I do all those things. Can. <laughs> Can. So what I'm gonna do now is also add some glitz. Glitz, 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 glitter. The kind of accent that I do get made fun of here. Like they think that I'm very white wannabe. But it's hard because I, if you guys don't know, I grew up in a Western school. You know, you're surrounded by people with so many different accents. And at the same time, I went to two different schools with different curriculums. One is British, one is American. And so when I grew up, I when I grew up in a British school, I had a lot more British pronunciations. Like I would say bathroom, I would say water rather than water. I don't know, like those subtle, subtle differences that are, like I would I would interchange accents from time to time depending on who I'm talking to or what I'm talking about. Um, and it's hard because it's not like I'm trying to pretend being somebody I. I'm not. It's just that's how I grew up and the kind of people I grew up with majority of my life. The kind of comments I get is like, oh you're such a white girl, white wash and like you 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 typical Starbucks girl la. and I'm like that's just how I grew up bro. Like it's not my fault that that's how I talk and it hurts. Like deep down I get very offended by it but you know what? Whatever because you, once you grow up older you kind of stop really giving a crap about what people say to you of course if it's a constructive feedback then yes i'll definitely take it but if it's something for you to just like i can't change it's something that i just grew up with anyways i've done the eyes so now i am gonna do my eyeliner so this is something i get a lot of questions about like i get like Thank you so much for complimenting my eyeliners because I feel very proud. It's part of my identity. I only started wearing eyeliners, particularly the wing ones when I was in my first year of uni because I saw this girl, um, she was my classmate. She had the most wicked cool eyeliner on. I was just like, oh my gosh, she's so cool. I want to be like her. So I copied her and to this day, like I'm so thankful for her. She inspired me a lot. You want to get something that's like that where it's thin and how you can test if it's too hard you just go to the edge and just press okay it seems to bend fine that's good it's good so i start at the corner so i want to draw first the edge some people like to draw from in to out i prefer out to in because that has a stronger control in terms of direction that you want it so then once i know the angle that i want i just have to color it in if you get what I mean it's something like your eyebrows you first do the bottom part before you do the top yep that's pretty much it now I just have to 
replicate to the other side is like the most frustrating thing ever yes i've had situation where one is higher than the other and it's so embarrassing hold on i don't know if you guys ever felt it that way comment below if you ever did so i don't feel like i'm the only one Ken la Ken. So now I'm gonna do my cheeks so it looks like I actually am alive with blood flowing, not really patchy and white. So I'm using NYX, the, <laughs> it's already coming off, but I'm using this ombre style. I had to put a bit more extra than usual so that's why it's really red because on camera later on, I, on our date it's not gonna be very visible. So it's like right now doing like stage makeup, you know, like on screen makeup versus like real life makeup. Ten. Now what I need to add on is highlight. Highlight. Yes. Yosh. <laughs> the other side. Edge. Oh my god, wow, it's so shiny. Watch out, Rudolph. I'm coming. And the last thing is, of course, lip. I'm going to be using Velvet Vanity. This is their super slim stick, and the color that I'm using is Money Honey. Okay, I'm going to dab a bit only. So I'm going to put it like that, and I'm going to spread it out. <laughs> Please, if you want proper makeup tutorials do watch the professionals mine is just like a basic girl with basic knowledge on makeups now the last thing i always want to finish off with my lips is this just to be transparent with you guys like as something that i always want to practice i am not paid by them at all to promote i just genuinely love this particular lip tint like not only for its color it's also damn glossy like without it being sticky like see look at that look at it compared to the top and the bottom look at it look how shiny it is it's amazing and at the same time it's great in terms of keeping your lips moist especially with the hot weather in kl and i tend to get dry lips very easily i'm gonna let go of my hair <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that is it guys. My makeup tutorial, a uh, simple date night look that I'm gonna use online when I meet my boyfriend. God, it sounds like I'm meeting some random fake boyfriend online. But this is my, my real boyfriend where we're meeting. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any feedback or comments, drop them below in the comment section. If you have any questions on the products I use or even want to share what products you prefer to use, do let me know in the comment section below. Oh, that rhymed. No, below. Okay, seriously, quarantine is making me think like crazy. Ah! <clears throat> Anyways, I hope you guys are safe healthy well and most importantly responsible stay at home unless necessary you have to go out for emergency go through something other than that stay at home okay okay i'm gonna go now bye 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 Mwah.